watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Matchroom CEO and promoter, Eddie Hearn, promoter of two-time unified heavyweight British world champion, Anthony Joshua, is has debunked and is exposed Queensberry promoter, Frank Warren, Tyson Fury, undefeated WBC British lineal heavyweight world champion, and the supposed negotiations that Frank Warren said they had for undisputed bout. Frank Warren went on to say that Tyson Fury team and Anthony Joshua team have begun negotiations. He, he gave this information to uh, Mark Kriegel of ESPN as Tyson Fury is co-promoted by top rank, top rank CEO and promoter, legendary promoter, Bob Arum and network is ESPN. So when you have uh, Kriegel reporting this and Frank Warren reporting this, and they're saying that uh, Saudi Arabia group has indeed contacted them about staging the undisputed bout and possibly offering huge lump sums of money to former WBC reigning heavyweight world champion Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and IBF heavyweight uh, um, mandatory challenger Kubat Pulev to step aside. Frank Warren said they have indeed begun negotiations. Eddie Hearn has come out and says that is all a lie. It's not true. They have had no conversations about negotiations. He says, but he has been contacted by a multitude of different uh, groups who are looking to stage an undisputed bout. But he says that he first informs them that Deontay Wilder is under contract with Tyson Fury for a trilogy match, and Kurat Pulev is under contract with Anthony Joshua for the mandatory challenger IBF spot that's uh, scheduled to take place. He says uh, they have begun to um, have conversations back in June, right? They wanted to have conversations in June. They were looking forward to have conversations in June because the Wilder Fury trilogy was set for um, July and Joshua's fight was set for June with Kubrat Pulev. So they were looking to start to begin negotiations Assuming that Anthony Joshua wins those wins the fight with Kubat Pulev, they were looking to face the winner of Wilder Fury either which way. And the groups in Saudi Arabia, they were going to begin negotiations as far as what could be offered and what's available to stage the fight and where to stage the fight. But as far as negotiations beginning thus far already for with Tyson Fury's team. Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, and Anthony Joshua team is all false. He says Frank Warren has made that up. He don't know where he got it from. He was contacted by ESPN and they asked him, was it any, was any of this, was there any truth to this? And Eddie Hearn said, it's absolutely not true. Point blank and period. He says, I don't know where they got this from. And he also stated that um, it's just impossible to start negotiating when you have two contracts already on the table that has to be honored point blank and period so let's see how this all unfolds and plays out but uh that's all i got for y'all y'all already know what it is it's your boy blue blue blood sports tv hate like comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notification follow me on instagram at blue blood sports tv all one word y'all already know what it is shout out to the entire l d B C shouts out the new media shouts out the black media role. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.